Hello Internet people! In this video, I'll show you how you can create coupons and promo codes by using WooCommerce for WordPress. The best thing is, if you already have WooCommerce, the coupon code functionality comes with it. You just need to enable it in the settings and then you'll have the coupons in the WooCommerce menu. Arnie, what do you sell with coupon codes? Just bodies. I'm not sure that's legal, Arnie. Take sweat punch! All right, I'm here in my WordPress dashboard and let's go to WooCommerce and then settings. So here in settings, in general tab, just scroll down until you see this enable coupons checkbox, just check it. And then there's a second checkbox, but you can ignore it if you're not going to apply multiple coupons on top of each other. I'm going to keep it so that one user can use one coupon at a time. So I'm not gonna check it. It's a bit like these bad guys. They come one at a time. And then scroll down and just click on save changes. Okay, and now in the left menu here under WooCommerce, you can see you have coupon section. So let's go there. And since we're just starting out, there's nothing there. So let's cre create a first coupon. And I'm going to create a coupon for my beta testers. So people that are just testing out this service. So I'm going to call it beta deal, just like that. And this is important. This field is super important because this is what you're going to send to your customers. This is what they will see. So make sure that it looks nice and that it's easy to spell and things like that. So maybe I even add a dash there. And then the description is something for the client, but also for yourself. And let's say get 50% off. Then you have other options here. You have three ways to actually apply the discount. You have percentage, fixed card discount. So let's say $10 or whatever fixed amount and fixed product discount which means you can apply a discount for specific product. I'm going to use percentage discount since it's 50% and coupon amount 50. That's the percentage. You can also set the coupon expiry date if you need to. For now, I'll set it until the end of the month, but sometimes you just want to keep it rolling for a longer time. A bit like Neymar. Then you have usage restrictions. And for example, you can set here that, okay, if the user spent $10, then the coupon gets applied or if maximum spend. So if they spend a hundred or less, then you apply the coupon. Um, for me, I only have a one product, so I'm not gonna set these. And this is important field. If you don't want to have multiple coupons uh, used on top of each other, then just check this box. And you could also exclude the items that are on sale on your website. So if they're already on sale, then the coupon code cannot be applied to it. So I'm gonna also check this one. And then you can add specific products this will apply to. So for example, you could apply to your product directly, or you can also exclude it for certain products. In my case, I just want it to be applied to this product. I don't have any other products, but just for future, if anything, it always gets applied only to this one. You can also apply to certain product categories or exclude for certain categories. And then you can restrict certain emails. So if you don't want some of your clients to get this discount, maybe they abused it or whatever, then you can add the email here and they're not gonna get the discount or it's not gonna be allowed. And then here, usage limits, if you click on that one, you can set how many coupons can be used. So for example, you can send out in an email or on social that, hey, the first 10 will get this discount with this coupon. And in that case, you put 10. Arnie, did you get it working? No sequel for you. And the next field here, limit usage X items. This means, let's say you have five items in your basket or your customer has it. If you have this limit to three, it will only apply the discount for three items and not to all five. But I don't want any limits, I don't need that. You can always read more uh, from these things. And usage limit per user, so how many times a user can use this. So I'm gonna set it to one for now. You can set it to more or just keep it open so that there's no limit. And once you're happy with everything, 
then just click on publish and let's go to the site here's my site with very simple landing page and then let's actually buy this now so here I'm in my checkout page or on the shipping page if I apply the coupon here apply you can see that it actually calculates everything correctly and applies the 50% discount on this deal and then you can yeah fill in your details and pay so let's go back and create another coupon just to show how well they work together so I've saved this one add coupon and I'm gonna just add uh, $20 off get $20 off and this will be a fixed card discount just 20 coupon amount 20 I'm gonna keep these as defaults except I want to set this one individual use only boom then publish now if I grab this one and I go to my website refresh the page now if I try to apply it better deal so that's the $48 and then if I try to add the $20 off coupon and click apply it actually just replaces the coupon and now if I pay you can see here that it's $77 everything is correctly applied so now if the customer pays they get the discount according to the coupon code and everybody's happy my name is Robert and if this is your first time here and you want to learn more about how to improve your website, get more traffic and other website related stuff, make sure to hit that subscribe Ding button dong. so you don't miss out on anything. Here are two videos that I think you should watch next. Whoosh!